Hello guys, welcome to another time I with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are taking a look at this Aperture Spotlight, Mini Spotlight, specifically made for the Aperture 60D and 60X. Actually got this at the beginning of the year and I did promise a review for it but never got to it until now for many reasons. I'm getting back to it and getting the um, this setup and gonna be used on my studio. I'm gonna try to cast a, um, a window sunlight reflection on this stuff. So that's what we are getting it for. And um, there's another one and that will be for another video. We have the Aperture um, Spotlight. The new one for Amaron. Yep, that's gonna be on the back side of the other um, of my guest or whoever is uh, on set with me. Uh, but you get the point behind me as host and behind my guest. It's a it's a community. We can we need to talk. You know, I need to let you know what's going on. Just um, you know, the strangers can can complain about me talking about all that but uh, if you're here if you're here for a minute yeah just officially opened it okay if you're here for a minute you know that I need to give you updates like for the giveaways there's update for that um, for on the channel the newest update will be my page well it's not a patron but membership okay those of you that have been saying you want to support me, this is your chance. Four ninety nine a month, and it will help me to ship my items to winners of this. Uh, it's small, but gradually it can make add up to something that at least will help me ship this stuff. Imagine shipping this thing to Africa. Stuff. The shipping will cost a lot more than the product itself, so it doesn't really make sense. Uh, but we'll figure a way out either to get them uh, Amazon card or something like that uh, Which I support when it's time we'll get to that but however, it's on you can go and subscribe um, And join the membership. Uh, we're gonna be having a couple of lives um, Every now and then because I don't have much time to make a real video edit and do all the whatever I used to do so I got the live setup I might as well just go live most of the time on the channel and then when I cannot settle down I make a good video but I, I know I'm blabbing too much I'm sorry about that let's go so this is the unboxing not much inside just the manual booklet the handle for the bag is in there I know this is a this is an old product but um, I'll also make a comparison with the Aperture, with the Amaron and see what you can get and why this is still relevant for some people, may it still be relevant for some people or not. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's funny that this thing is larger, heavier and more expensive than the light for which it was um, originally created for it's a heavy product man Ooh. so we need a beefy stand um, yeah the, yep let's see yep you can slice it any way you want to open more or less light nothing much in there um, you have the um, what's it called the whatever you use for shaping the light we have uh, the other modifiers Ooh. these are the um, how many are they let's count oh this thing is heavy I'm already, my hands are already tired from holding it. Okay, so let's, let me drop this for a, mi a minute. Ooh. 
No power, no connection. It's ready to go, connected to that stuff. Nothing more. No charging, no power, no cables. So it looks like we have to mount the larger one. Take this one off and mount this one instead. Put this on it. Okay, let's tighten. Oh, the mounting is on this side, I forgot. So that's the mount, that's where we mount. Okay, this is not as heavy as this, trust me. Uh, I've got a more powerful bicolor lights. I got better lights and more powerful lights to do a better job than this. So, this, which makes this easy to just put away for this, for this purpose. You will have to move this pin for it to fall off. It's gonna stay in place. So, let's connect now. This product comes in with the teeth closed. The mouths, the teeth are closed when they arrive. So, um, the cutting the light, you start cutting the light. It's like dipping it in, pushing them in to cut the light. You want you want the full maximum light, you spread it out. You don't need this, this will be in the way when you're trying to use your gumbos. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use this one. Like I said, it's for my podcast and uh, this is the probably the one I'm going to use. So let's test it out. All right, you see the, the flavor there, but I wanted to show on the white part of this of the um, wall that's where the background that's where that's what's going to show up so I'm going to flip something like this when I come in front of the camera the autofocus will be more on the speaker here and that background is going to be even blurrier so um, that will be fine so this is the first setup, okay? Great idea. Uh, let me let me just try other uh, gumbos, just to give you an idea of what you can do with it. Remember, when you place it, if you want it upright, you gotta put it inverted. So up is down, down is up, right? Okay. So let's get this arm. It's inverted. The flames are inverted. So I'm going to stick this in, now the flames will be um, vertical. This does almost the same thing that I was trying to show on the previous. Okay, let's do the window. So this can go anyway, inverted will still be fine. Alright, so we have the window over there, we can take it up. Don't forget the zoom. If you have problem with the size, you could enlarge it with the zoom. Make it bigger. In the next video, I'll be reviewing this on another device that is not Aperture. That is not Amaran. Okay? I'm going to tell you what other light I'm going to use it for and get the same effect and get maybe better results. We'll see. But watch out for that as well. I'm gonna compare that with this. Yeah, but the only thing is that this is going to be for colored. Well, we can do it the same thing, but I'm gonna go colored and it's not gonna be with the aperture. Watch out. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.